everybody. Shane here with you for Guitar Work. Welcome back. As you can see, a uh, different location here again. This is Lake Clear and Eagleville gorgeous and I'm hoping no jet skis or fishing boats whip by me. Uh, if they do, we'll take a break. Um, this is a, a request of three very popular strumming patterns that uh, you cannot do without. So um, I'm going to, there won't be much going on, on the left hand for this, so I'm going to stay on G pretty much the whole time and uh, just focus on the right hand. Most of the questions we get is, hey, what's the strumming pattern for this song? What's the strumming pattern for that song? Um, when someone imposes a strumming pattern on you, it's, it's never just one thing going on. There's always variation. So let's equip you with the three most popular strumming patterns, as I see them anyway. And, uh, and how to get back and forth from one to the other. So you can start, you really start improvising with your right hand. You don't want to be stuck just playing one pattern the whole time. Um, probably the most, oh, and I should tell you, there are sheets for this. If you go to shanesimpson.com, it's a free download. There's nothing to sign up for anything like that. Head to shanesimpson.com. There's a little red button that says download guitar at work song sheets. Go get those, come back. Um, I think you could do this one without the song sheets or without the sheets, but um, it, you may find it helpful. Um, Pattern number one, probably the most you know, popular pattern on the planet, is this guy. I'm going to stay on G again. It's the whole time you're G, sitting on G, and it is this guy. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So let's do that again slowly. Play along at home if you can. Here's three, four, G. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And the area of detail, Upstrokes, you don't have to hit all six strings on the way back up. In fact, it, it kind of sounds strange if you do. So maybe aim for the top four strings or so. There's no real rule there, but aim for the top four so it doesn't sound so harpy. Okay, so I'll do that again. Here's G. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And I'm counting that. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four. Again, that's down, down, up. stop tape if that's new to you which I kind of doubt sometimes uh, maybe you could stop tape there and just get that one going on before we get to the next guy because we're going to be going from one to the other pretty rapidly here uh, number two is this guy right here ideal for medium tempo type songs is down down up, down down up, down down up, down down up and I'm counting that one and up two and up three and uh, four, and uh, like that. And notice the quick andas, I'll call them chickas, they're not as loud as the initial ones. So I'm gonna think of it this way. Loud, soft, loud, soft. And not only do you sort of lessen the impact with the pick here, but uh, if you aim maybe for the top four strings for the quick down up in there, you won't, uh, things won't, you don't want this. Let me put it right there. It's just too even, so we end up going loud, soft, loud, soft. Backing it up, we've got this so far, uh, strumming pattern number one. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down. I'll do four of those. One, two, three. One more. Down. Now here's the second one. I'm going to jump right to it. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. I'm going to go back to the first one now. Down. Second one here now. Down, down, up, down, 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 down. Back to the first one. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Two more. Second one coming. Here we go. Down, 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 down. There we go. So there's our first two. one um, starts on an upstroke. I'm going to go up, down, up, smack. And now what's the smack? Just the side of your hand making contact with the strings like that. So if I go up, down, up, smack. Up, down, up, smack. Up, down, up, smack. Down, down, up, smack. And one, and two, and three, and four. 
So it starts from the and of four. That can be confusing. So, and one, and two. The smacks are on beats two and four, which is where the snare drum would occur on a, on a drum set. So you're going and one, and two, and three, and four. Up, down, up, whack. Up, down, up, whack. Up, down, up, whack. Up, down, up, whack. There you go. Whack, up, down, up, whack. And notice the whack. You want to like, get in position for the next upstroke. If you do this, up, down, up. If your whack is like that, look where my pick is. Now I'm doomed because I need an upstroke and he's in position for a down. So on the whack, do this up, down, up, whack. Just you know, cha uh, pull the string, put the pick through the strings, the deadened strings that puts you in position for that upstroke. So up, down, up, whack, up, down, up, whack, like that. So all three of them now in a row. And again, you may have to stop tape, work on them individually, but it's important. The big thing is you can pull a trigger uh, changing from one to the next without missing a beat or without anything crazy happening. So here's number one, four of those. Three, four, down, down, up, up. Um, again, stop tape and just work on those. A metronome is a great investment for sure. It'll tell you when you're speeding up and slowing down, and we all do unless we kind of calibrate that inner inner clock of ours. If I took that through a chord progression, each one, G, D, E minor, C. That might be one of the more popular chord progressions out there. I'll play the first one here. Uh, first pattern, G, D, E minor, C. So going down, down, up, up, down, down, down. I'll go D. Strumming pattern number two uh, on the same set of chords would be one, two, three, four, D coming down, 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 E minor here, down, 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 C coming down, 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 number three, strumming pattern number three, up, down. The upstroke, that's important. E minor. Here's a C. And back to G. If I just wing it here, just wing it and try to mix those up in no particular order. G. And uh, that is the idea. So rarely are you going to play the same strumming pattern through an entire song. We want to equip that right hand. Uh, once, once your right hand knows uh, all the mathematical subdivisions, um, you're going to find you just he, he is your arranger, so to speak, and he can just okay, you put, just fill the holes wherever you want. Big thing is don't don't step on the singer. You don't want to be doing fancy stuff while the singer's trying to sing. They don't like that. They kind of think it's all about them. So anyway, down, down, up, down. So peck away at those. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for your comments, suggestions, and uh, and requests. So keep them coming and down in the uh, in the comments section. And happy to hear from you. I appreciate it. Uh, head to shanesimpson.com and grab those sheets. You'll see a, in the series a strumming series. You can go get those. And there's nothing to sign up for. Um, enjoy that. Happy strumming. We'll see you again soon. Bye bye now.